Hi, my name is Gemma and I'm the Service Manager for the Criminal Justice Liaison and Diversion Service. The Criminal Justice Liaison and Diversion Service is an assessment service for vulnerable individuals coming through the criminal justice system. So the staff within the service are based in police custody suites, magistrates courts and we also have a community provision. Hello, I'm Roscoe and I'm the Head of Custody for Kent Police. When somebody comes into custody, the custody sergeant will do an initial risk assessment to find out what the needs are of that individual. They'll also assess their vulnerability, and whether they need additional help whilst they're in custody, whether that could be through an appropriate adult or through the CJ LDS. Hi, I'm Sam. I'm a liaison diversion practitioner for the CJ LDS team. So when we first meet the person, we go to their cell. We ask them first if we can come into their area. Just because they're in a cell, it doesn't mean that we can just walk in and, you know, presume that we can come in. We ask them, is it okay if we can come in and have a chat with you? We introduce ourselves, we use our first names, you know, we make sure that they're aware of who we are. So we ask if we can sit down, take a seat next to them, make eye contact with them, make sure the body language is good as well, so that it's obviously all ways of gaining their trust while we're there with them. Making sure that they understand that we're there for them and we're not there for the police making sure that we want to support them whilst they're in custody but also while they're out of custody. Hi, my name's Peter. I'm a team manager with the Criminal Justice Liaison and Diversion Service. So when people are arrested and come into custody, this can be a real time of crisis for them. They might be frightened about what's going to happen to them, might be very angry, might be very remorseful. And the system previously didn't really cope for any of that. But having somebody there that's only interested in them and what their problems are and what they can do to help with those problems makes a real difference and I think that it can drastically change someone's experience of custody and it can give them some real hope about moving forward. My name's Holly and I'm a team manager for the Criminal Justice Liaison Service. Those people who have those unmet um, vulnerabilities like the drugs, alcohol, finances um, and about their engagement with our community service, we could then feed that back um, into the court process um, and that will support people and professionals within the criminal justice system in terms of charging decisions and any further action that they decide to take. Hi, my name is Lystra. I work as a specialist liaison and diversion practitioner with CJLDS. My job is as a specialist advisor to the police and in courts to the magistrates and judges. In custody, if someone has been identified with a mental health or learning disability need, we then look at the best outcome for the person. So that could be the person could stay in the criminal justice system and no recommendations can be made to divert the person or we can make a recommendation to divert the person to a health or social care setting. Hi, my name's Andy and I'm a probation officer for the National Probation Service. Since CJLDS became involved in the courts, the main difference has been the time for adjournments for cases from point of the first appearance at court to then the sentence of the um, service user. Prior to the involvement of the service, um, we were looking at an 8 to 12, uh, to 12 week um, adjournment for cases to be um, assessed by the mental health agencies in the community and now we can say quite often that um, it's point of appearance at court, assessment on the same day and sentenced on the same day with the benefit of the um, assessment by the mental health team in the courts. The service in the criminal justice system is important because everybody has a story. It could be the story that they've come in for, it could be that they have a drug habit that they have to steal to be able to fund that habit. It could be that they've got a mental health need that hasn't been identified that we need to support them with. If they get the help that they deserve to break the criminal cycle. That then gives the best service we can give to victims and witnesses and will reduce crime in the long run. Sometimes when people come into custody, they have no one. So they have no one obviously when they come into custody and they have no one when they leave custody to go back into the community. So the reason why we're here is so that we can be that someone. So it can be that we're there to support them to get back into touch with services. Sometimes it's even we can get them back in 
touch with families, especially if we introduce them to counselling services. We work with uh, young people from the age of 10 and through our adulthood. Um, we work with people with a variety of different needs um, and different vulnerabilities um, and engage with people throughout their journey of the criminal justice system. So from the point of their arrest um, through to engaging with them and supporting them in the community, supporting them through court and seeing kind of the journey the whole way through. Some people just need a little bit of help with one particular area of their life that could turn the whole thing around for them and, and change the direction of the rest of their life together with their family, their children. So it is, it's, much, it's important to look at the bigger picture and, and I think the staff within the Criminal Justice Liaison and Diversion Service really get that. Criminal Justice Liaison and Diversion Service is an invaluable um, partnership for us in, in terms of helping those that are most vulnerable in society. The service is essential to the criminal justice system um, for many reasons but when we're trying to move and work with some of the most vulnerable people in society, those that possibly have had no interventions in the past, no contact with mental health agencies and the courts are looking to move to swift justice and imposing sentences on the day of guilty pleas, it's really essential to be able to offer the court a, a, an informed um, a, a report that can assess all of those, all of the issues pertinent to people that are, are in court. We're always looking for ways of innovating and making sure we offer a good service to everybody in custody in the court. The impact to the person is, I can't even begin to tell you how big an impact. It's life changing for them. You have more positive people in society, you have reduced offending, you have less crimes. I'm working with a team that are so passionate and I work with the police who are so engaged um, and work really, really hard to help us join in their service and their direction and their vision together with the courts. It, it feels great to be able to all be in the, on the same journey for the greater good for these individuals. Yeah.